Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm so happy to have one of my friends on the line. Uh, I wanted to make sure I talked to him because he's the best dude. He's so talented. And as all this collider drama was going down, I wanted to make sure he didn't get any uh, shrapnel or damage because Josh Robert Thompson is the fellow you guys have seen on Collider doing George Lucas deep fakes. They don't ever give him enough credit. He's always under a million faces, but the, you've heard him do a million hilarious impressions. He was on the Craig Ferguson show. Uh, he's, the, he's He's been on Family Guy. He's in a a million things josh you're on the line yes hey josh hey andy how are you man good Thank to you have you man thanks for coming on you did it one of my favorite episodes of our, our movie club where we watched terminator 3 josh knows his movies i want you to come on talking movies yeah. i don't want you to do your your voices everyone makes you do the voices you are such a movie fan though so i want to call that out first people should go follow you over on uh, josh robert thompson on twitter they can find you at josh R. thompson correct and then your website is jrtshow.com uh but yeah That's you're it. a movie lover yeah or it's it's the it's the JRT show T H. Oh, sorry. Here it is. I have it here on screen. The yeah. You don't. You got to fix that. You got to get both. You don't want to go to the. You don't want to go to that other one. That's some porn site. Okay, it's a deep fake site. Don't go to the porn site. Uh, the the JRT show dot com. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, but you, people know you for your impressions. You're amazing at that. But you're also just a movie lover and a movie fan, right? You've been your whole life. Yeah, huge fan of films, and uh, that was really fun doing that uh, episode with you. And uh, no, I like that. I like doing impressions, but I do like uh, chatting about film and film history and kind of getting into like deep cuts and watching older films. It, that was really fun, man. I really enjoy that. So you are, but you sort of started around town. You do an amazing Morgan Freeman. You did a project with me that you people have heard your Morgan Freeman. You've ADR'd for Morgan Freeman. Like people, I've, I've heard a story you told me where Morgan Freeman was like, was that Josh who did my voice? Just have him do the movie. Uh, oh, you're yeah, so yeah. good at it. It was that... Ben-Hur. We did a remake of Ben-Hur. And uh, he said, well, you, you guys already got my voice in there. You don't need me. I said, oh, okay. No, that was me. That's me, Morgan. Well, then just keep it in there. I don't care. <laughs> Does, but that's got to be like the best uh, compliment you can get, right? It's pretty great. I mean, from the man himself. And he's, uh, he's a really nice dude. I've been doing that for years. So that's one of the cool things I get to do, man. It's awesome. Who is your favorite to do nowadays? Uh, probably George Lucas. So you've been doing that a lot. So you do like it. You do like your George Lucas voice. I love it because, you know, we can get into this in another show, but you know, I, lo I love George Lucas. I, I have a lot of admiration for him and, uh, he's probably one of my favorite filmmakers just in terms of everything that he's, you know, he's given to, to film over the years and everything that he's accomplished. Um, and it's, it's a great character because his personality and his sort of monotone, way of acting and being is so diametrically opposed to these wild films that he makes. It's, here's, it's very funny to me. <laughs> here's a quick clip for those who haven't we seen the deep fake. Screen. We bring in a green screen there, Jimmy. You just have the, you just don't, his, just I don't give a crap is really, you have that di down pat. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. he's such a legend, but he doesn't care anymore. And that's, that's where your impression is, exceeds so well. So, cause it's just like, he doesn't give an ass about anything. Uh, cause he knows he's George Lucas. And is that part of the trick of sort of performing him now? Completely. I mean, he, he even talked about when he figured out and sort of got into animation and then became a filmmaker, the way he talks about it is, you know, I just sort of fell into it and didn't know I was going to be good at it. And then I just sort of did a few things and then I made star Wars, you know, he's just very, it's everything's just like, he just casually strolled up and made Star Wars and didn't care, <laughs> you know, and then built an empire and is now worth billions of dollars. God bless him. You did. I first time I saw you do George <laughs> Lucas was on your show. You did a pilot, right? Is that, a, is can people see that yet or no? They can see uh, clips from it. Cause we're, we're talking to some folks about it. So I don't, I don't want to put the whole pilot out there, but there is a clip of the original walking with George Lucas yeah. segment. Um, that is all prosthetic appliances. And, and, I, and I love doing the deep fake stuff. I think it's funny. I think it elevates it to kind of a weird, uncanny valley, creepy area. But I still prefer to just use my own face and let the audience fill in the blanks. But I, um, I, I, you know, I enjoy them both. Yeah, I, I just found your walk with George Lucas again. And that, that scene where you're talking, oh, here it is. I, I, let's play this quick. Uh, seeing yeah. a zebra this close before. Maybe what a, a gorgeous, gorgeous creature. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame I'm gonna eat it later. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the clip. It's like, oh, what a, this zebra, what a gorgeous creature. And then just the nonchalant, yeah, it's a shame I'm going to eat it later. Uh, it's a shame I'm going to eat it. Yeah, it's so fun. That was great. We shot that uh, in Malibu at Malibu Wines and Safari, and it sort of doubled as Skywalker Ranch. And they just happened to have a bunch of zoo animals there on the property. And uh, it's, it's really fun for me. It's an unusual impression. There's not a lot of people that do George 
I think at all in that way, that very realistic. So it's very fun. No. Yeah, and it's so, I'm so glad Collider, I'm going to give Collider props. And I'm so glad they gave you a venue to sort of bring it out again in a, in a popular way because I, I wanted someone to do it. Uh, and you do it. So and bringing him back as this sort of new trilogy was, was doing what it was doing was, was a great opportunity. And I do want to give the deep fakes props. I thought at the beginning, those first few were really, really funny and really clever. They were. Uh, yeah. And so I, you had fun doing those in the beginning and everything was fun. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I want to say that, you know, one of the frustrations I had for many years was transitioning from network TV, being on the Late Late Show, and suddenly like having this pilot and not being able to get anybody to look at it. I tried to get like Nerdist, the people at Nerdist, or anybody that was sort of in the Star Wars pop culture realm to see my George Lucas sketch. And it just never happened. So when when Collider, I got involved with Collider, through uh, Jamie Costa, a great actor or impressionist. Um, that was great for me because they said, finally, I have an in. This was this was the whole world I was trying to get into because I know so much about films. I have such a deep love of science fiction and Star Wars and fantasy films. So it was perfect. I was very excited to do that. Yeah, so I, I want to make sure people, if you don't remember, you were Jeff the Talking Robot over on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. That's where you. That was your biggest claim to fame, correct? That's safe to call? Yeah. Yes, in the last decade, yes. Yeah, and uh, but that, I mean, that was a big role for you. Uh, it was, and, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then that obviously left other things. You've been on Family Guy, a bunch of other stuff. But um, yeah, no, having then to come back and do the impressions and have that opportunity to, to do show your movie cred and your comedy chops and your impressions, uh, it was a great thing for Collider. So, uh, but I want to I want to address the elephant in the room because I want to defend you here because I know I, I, we've talked, but I want people to go support you because I think two things are happening unfairly, Josh. Let me speak for you, and then you can tell me if it's unfair. Yeah. I think it's it's unfair that Josh never gets credit for doing all this work. He, he's fantastic. I don't, I have, I wasn't there, wasn't involved, but I knowing, and when I've worked with Josh, he throws out the best ad libs. He's part of the scripting process. The character doesn't work without him. Uh, this needs to be more attention to Josh. It is the Josh show when he shows up to do his Lucas. Now, granted, there's deep fake editors, and I'm sure there were people at Collider helping you, et cetera, but I never saw them giving you enough props. So I want to make sure I did this conversation so people gave you props. But at the same time, it was an odd time to call it out because a lot of people are upset now about deep fakes and Collider uh, because they just <laughs> shut down all their popular shows. Uh, and I know you had nothing to do with that. And that's why I wanted to give viewers a chance to sort of get to know you josh uh and explain your side of the story of you had nothing to do with those firings you knew nothing about collider you support all those guys am i am i correct in all these of assumptions course. anything yeah, the, you want to say on that I didn't, I didn't i didn't get to meet everybody but the but folks that i did meet were were just wonderful and they have a lot of supremely talented people over there and you know i know that these things happen this isn't this isn't anything new it happened to me with the late late show it's happened on a number of projects i've been replaced on a number of projects but yeah, I have nothing but admiration and respect for all of those folks over there. Um, and, you know, Mark Fernandez is a great guy. I, I've had a great working relationship with him. I've only been over there a short time. I mean, just just doing these deep fake videos. Uh, but no, the, the deep fake stuff uh, had nothing to do with it. Uh, I, I took some shrapnel there uh, on Twitter for, for the last, you know, several days being sort of uh, at replied or tagged in different tweets regarding this stuff. And, uh, you know, I, like, I wanted everyone to know my name, but then I was like, well, maybe I don't want anybody to know my <laughs> name because <laughs> well, that's the point and of this also, video. I think you need to get out there because people should know your name and they should know you had nothing yeah. to do with that. And you were doing a job. Uh, and so yeah, I, I mean, I'm curious and I don't know you're, you're a good guy. I'm sure you don't want to uh, do any drama here. I'm not trying to get it, but yeah, just to be clear, like you didn't know any of the stuff, the reprogramming stuff or no. none of that stuff had been talked to you. You weren't involved in any of that. Correct. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just an actor. I'm just a guy that came in and worked on these videos. And, and I will say they did. You know, I am credited, but but I learned that no one reads the video description of anything on YouTube. So it's in there. It, you know, the credits enough, are there. Yeah. The credits are there. But it was so funny that it was very frustrating to see every 99 percent of the comments say things like, boy, I wish I knew who this guy was doing George Lucas. He's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. You know, but please also the other guys, you know, the other guys in the deep fake round table, like uh, Jeff Richards, who was doing Robert Downey Jr. And Evan, who does a, an amazing Tom Cruise and uh, Jamie Costa, who was doing Ewan McGregor. And then we had Mark Ellis, of course, who's a super funny, super nice dude hosting that. And really the hero of that is uh, Frank uh, Luca Tordo, who does all the deep fake stuff. He like learned how to do that just for those videos. So how long does that usually um, take them to do? Frank turns them around super quick, man. I yeah. think he turned one around in like a day. Uh, I don't think he sleeps ever. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Frank is a vampire and he will fully admit to that. He's a super cool guy. But uh, 
yeah, man, he he really works his ass off on those. So, yeah, this isn't like, hey, let's get together and just throw this stuff together. It's a combination of a lot of funny people and talented uh, editing, and there's a lot involved in it. But, yeah, it, it is fun. Yeah, no, I absolutely. I, and, again, uh, where my big problem was just it started to get a little repetitive. No no disrespect to you, but the whole process sure. of deep fakes to me is this thing. I don't know how long it's going to last. And that's where I think a lot of the fans right. got frustrated, and, and they just cut these programming without telling people. And I, Mark did a, a, a thing uh, uh, yesterday uh, talking about, you know, some of the th- lessons he's learned. It sounds like he's understanding some of the mistakes he's made. Uh, but regardless of it, I, it'll be interesting to see how long this deep fake thing goes, especially since it seems to be a technology most people can learn and do themselves. Uh, and it's an interesting technology because there's a lot of bad to this technology too. But I do. Mm-hmm. It, I think you guys are doing it in a fun, positive way. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm interested to see how where this whole deep fake things go. I mean, just the idea of deep fake in general, it freaks you out a little bit, no? I mean, it, it's a weird thing that we're... Well, I, it, 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 it freaks me out a little bit, but it's more frustrating because once again, it's a way to obscure the real performer. I mean, mm-hmm. I've spent most of my life behind a microphone as a voice actor, understandably, you're hidden away, but I would prefer to be more front and center on camera. So yeah, I think it looks cool. And when we did the round table, I played both Jeff Goldblum and George Lucas. So we had to do a second pass where I would sit on the other side of the table. And I think what they're doing with deep fake, especially the round table is more interesting than taking an existing movie and just putting someone else's face on that person, like the Jim Carrey shining. Yeah, clip, control you know? alt face is the one that does a lot of that stuff, right? There's other deep yeah, which I, which is great. My buddy Joe Gaudet does the voice of Arnold Schwarzenegger for them, and he's great. But I I like so, a playground uh, where yeah, we there. can do our improv and just act like the characters and put them in situations that you'd never see that before. I think there's things they can do with that, but like the George Lucas stuff, I, I I'm you know, and I've talked to Mark about this. We're both very I think sensitive about that. And I said, look, I I think star Wars is kind of winding down a little bit here for right now. So maybe we'll bring George back a little bit later on, but you know, we don't need to have it all the time. Don't want to beat the dead zebra or the dead. No, no, (laughs) exactly. Exactly. I want to beat that because I'll fry it up later and cut that. It's delicious. Yeah. Well, I love what you're doing. I'm, I look, I, while I have my own feelings and frustrations with Collider, I appreciate them at least addressing it all, but I hope you get to do more stuff and I hope people don't come knock on your door, hating on you because you had nothing to do with it. You're immensely talented. And I think more people got to put you out there showing your face, your love movies, your comedy yeah. skills. Uh, you are a very, very funny, talented performer that people do know and don't realize it. And so, uh, thank you for coming on and talk to me. I mean, any other, what's been the, co- any other fun takeaways? Do people, uh, have people, I, I imagine, cause you do the voices and everyone's always impressed when we, when we've hung out i know you whenever you mm-hmm. drop a voice everyone's like oh my god josh is so good but i imagine right. now with the george lucas when you drop it people are like oh i saw that video has that been sort of fun for the for the ego of yourself like has that been cool to like have a piece of content out there that now people clearly have seen you doing it even more well yeah i mean it's the thing that the only frustrating part is that, that those videos did so well i mean a couple of them i think are yeah, well 1. into 2 the million. millions yep. of views now um I was very proud of that. I think they're very funny. I, I especially the, the one I did with Jamie Costa where he does Harrison Ford. And, yes. you know, we were just supposed to sit individually and look at baby Yoda memes. And then I suggested, why don't you just have Jamie hang out with me? Cause it's like two old dudes trying yes. to understand any of this nonsense. <laughs> and, um, I thought it was great. I, I you know, I haven't really had anybody recognize me. That's the only frustration. It's like, man, all these views, but, I think people will figure it out. I just, you know, nobody reads the, nobody reads the credits. Yeah, well, you got to do your reactions. We got to talk, Josh, about upping your YouTube, your YouTube channel. And when these drop, you got to have your own, and then you got to have in your contract promote Josh's YouTube channel. So look, let's right. talk privately. I'll make sure. Should I get, should I react to my own yes, reaction? Yes, yes. How meta? Come on, guys. Right, George Lucas as you reacting what? to him reacting. You'd be surprised. It is true. Yeah, when no, a video I, goes yeah. viral and you know it's gonna, you want to have the first video that's related to it. And if they link sure. you to it, you'll actually get some big hits. So, I'll, look, let's talk. We'll talk later because they should do that. And I hope they paid you well. And I'm not even have to comment on that. But I'm going to say they should now because they clearly have some money left after all the firings they just did. So make sure oh, Collider yeah. takes care of you, Josh. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> Collider, I'll, take I'll, care of Josh. He deserves it. Yeah, I'll tell him you said that personally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, George, you and Jamie doing Harrison, and it's that brilliant. Uh, thank you for making it happen that way because it was way funnier seeing the two old guys sort of what's a meme, what's the computer, you two together. It, that's where the comedy comes from. And so having two funny people do their voices and work off of each other 
uh, that's a good bit. And so I, 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 those are when it, it sort of worked. There was a couple others just you were just kept doing reactions after reactions that I imagine you don't want to, you're, you're a polite one, but I hope they wise up and don't bank the farm on deep fake reactions because I don't think that is the future. I think you got to be no, sparing. No. Yeah, uh, I think the, it's more, I think it's not, and that's the other thing I wanted to say is it, it's not, the deep fakes were not the reason for any of this. I think there's a lot other there's I don't know what the long term plans are, but I know there's a lot of other stuff they want to do. So it's not just like let's do deep fakes forever. So, yeah, good. Um, smart, but, smart guys. Hopefully they'll yeah. figure that out. But Josh yeah. Robert Thompson, the GR, JRT show on you on a web. You can go look him <laughs> yeah. up, go find him and then go follow him over. Go show him some love after you watch this at Josh R. Thompson on Twitter. Go follow him. Let's get these up and go show him some love. Say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blame you. Uh, hopefully Collider <laughs> works itself out. And if you see Josh doing a performance over there, show him some love. He deserves all the talented people who do those things. They're not in charge yeah. of the big, the big choice. So go show him some love. Josh, thank you for coming on. I hope you'll come back. Let's do an official movie chat, you and I, whatever you want to talk about anytime. You're always welcome here, uh, but let's do it soon, yes? I'd love it, man. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, man. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. You can hit me up on social media at Andy Signor. Hit up Josh Robert Thompson, and we'll be back with more videos very soon. Bye, everybody.